Auto rotation. What to do if the engine fails? I shall demonstrate this exercise with a full auto rotation touchdown onto the ground. Whilst this looks all very dramatic at first, it is actually very safe and controlled and is part of the basic training for all helicopter pilots. It is important to remember that having an engine failure in a helicopter is extremely rare and that if you were a professional helicopter pilot, it would be unlikely to happen throughout your whole aviation career. The first thing that we must do is a hazel check. Height, 550 feet. Area, clear. Security, harnesses and hatches, secure. Engine, temperatures and pressures and carburetor heat full. Look out, look out below. Just before we enter the auto rotation, we're going to say, practice engine failure, go. So here we go. Practice engine failure, go. Lever down, right pedal, and off cyclic to establish a 65 knot attitude. As you can see, the needles have split and we are maintaining 65 knots. We are now auto-rotating in principle like a sycamore seed. I am looking to begin the flare at about 50 feet. I am now starting to flare and then nosing the aircraft forward to establish a level attitude. Cushioning the touchdown with collective while maintaining my heading with pedals. What does the auto-rotation look like from the outside? 65 knots airspeed as required for auto-rotation and a 1600 foot rate of descent. I am getting the flare at about 50 feet and as the ground approaches I am tightening the flare with more and more aft cyclic and I am now pushing the cyclic forward to level the aircraft and cushioning the touchdown with collective.